Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting radical equation. It is cube root of x plus 1 times cube root of x plus 3 minus cube root of x minus 4 times cube root of x plus 8 equal to 5. And we are going to calculate all real solutions. So let's get started by writing one property from radicals nth root of a times nth root of b equal to nth root of a times b. Let's apply this property here. We will get cube root of x plus 1 times x plus 3 minus cube root of x minus 4 times x plus 8 equal to 5. Now we will multiply these two brackets and these two brackets here. We will get cube root of x square 3x plus 1x 4x 1 times 3 3 minus cube root of x square 8x minus 4x plus 4x minus 4 times 8 minus 32 equal to 5. Now I will take this minus sign into this radical. So we will get cube root of x square plus 4x plus 3 plus cube root of minus x square minus 4x plus 32 equal to 5. Now we will use substitutions. Let me write our equation 1. Here it is. Now we will consider our first radicand equal to a cube and second radicand equal to b cube. So the very first equation which we can write from here cube root of a cube plus cube root of b cube equal to 5. Now cube root and cube will be over. We will get first equation a plus b equal to 5. Now we will find out the summation a cube plus b cube value. So a cube is x square plus 4x plus 3. b cube is minus x square minus 4x plus 32. So plus x square minus x square plus 4x minus 4x. 3 plus 32, 35. So I can write a cube plus b cube equal to 35. This is our equation 2. Now we have to solve this new system of equations where first equation is a plus b equal to 5 and second equation is a cube plus b cube equal to 35. So I will use one algebraic identity a plus b whole cube. This is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. Our a plus b was 5. a cube plus b cube was 35. Let's apply. So here I will be writing 5 cube equal to 35 plus 3 times AB times 5. Let's solve for AB. LHS will be 125. RHS will be 35 plus 15 AB. Or I can find 15 AB equal to 125 minus 35. So 15 AB will come out. 90. Now we will divide both sides by 15 here. So this 15 we can cancel from LHS and in RHS this will give us 6. So our third equation is here AB equal to 6. Let's say equation 3. Now I will write our first equation A plus B equal to 5. 
from here we can find the value of b in terms of a 5 minus a which we are going to apply here in equation 3. So I can write a times 5 minus a equal to 6 or 5a minus a square equal to 6. Take all the terms to RHS. We will get a square minus 5a plus 6 equal to 0. Now this equation is quadratic. We can use method of factorization as we can see factors of 6 we can write 2 times 3 and addition will be the middle term. So I can write a square minus 2a minus 3a will be the split of minus 5a plus 6 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take a common out. So a minus 2 will be in the bracket. From last two terms we can take minus 3 common. Then we will be getting in the bracket a minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can take a minus 2 overall common. Then other factor will be a minus 3 equal to 0. So from here I can write either a minus 2 will be 0 or a minus 3 will be 0. So a will be equal to 2, a will be equal to 3. a equal to 2 and 3. Now a was our substitution. In fact, a cube was our substitution. This was the product of these two radicands. So I will write x square plus 4x plus 3. This was a cube. So we have to find a cube first. So a cube will be equal to 2 cube, 3 cube. So a cube we can write 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27. Now we will replace a cube with x square plus 4x plus 3. So x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 8, 27. So from here I can write two equations. First one x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 8. And second equation x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 27. Let's solve both the quadratic equations. So I will write here x square plus 4x. 3 I will take to the RHS. So I can write over there 5. Now I will add 4 to both sides. Plus 4 plus 4. So LHS will become one perfect square. It is perfect square of x plus 2. RHS is 9. Now we will take square root both sides. So we can write x plus 2 will be equal to plus minus 3. Now I will write x plus 2 equal to 3 x plus 2 equal to minus 3. So from first equation x will be equal to 1 and from second equation x will be equal to negative 5. We have two real values, two real solutions. Now we will solve second quadratic equation x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 27. Let me write here x square plus 4x minus 24 equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula. As per formula minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our quadratic equation a is coefficient of x square 1, b is coefficient of x 4, and c is constant negative 24. Let's apply all the values. So we will get minus 4 plus minus the square root of 4 is square minus 4 times 1 times minus 24 over 2 times 1 is 2. 
I will write minus 4 plus minus a square root of 16 plus 96 over 2. This will be equal to minus 4 plus minus a square root of 112 over 2. This will be equal to minus 4 plus minus a square root of 112 is 16 times 7 over 2. So we can write minus 4 plus minus 4 square root 7 over 2. So we will get x equal to minus 2 plus minus 2 square root 7. So we have in total 4 real solutions. If I will write all the values, x will be equal to 1, negative 5, minus 2 plus minus 2 square root 7. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.